There's a, a term that Flacco has been using around the office that's been a little controversial. It's basically a combination of the N-word and like the end of termite. You, you want to say it? Clearly, I'm not going to say it. All uh, right, so pretty much I'll break it down, right? <laughs> Very controversial around the office. Okay, yeah. I mean, I'll break it down. let me see how you, how you make this into a compound word. But go ahead. So the term is Negro Mike. So pretty much that's just a colloquial term that I came up with for <laughs> hooligans and delinquents. Negro Mike. Yes. Okay. <laughs> right, hooligans, you know, again, though. No. It's kind of weird because, like, it seems offensive to me, but also it's like, am I supposed to be the one telling him no, that's not uh, what to no, say? No, and I don't no. know. It's, it was nah, a weird nah, spot nah, for man. me. Listen, man. Define it again. Joseph. It's Negro Mike, right? Mm -hmm. It's just a term, right, <laughs> that describes the hooligans and delinquents. You feel me? Okay. You, you know, <laughs> you know, that's it, man. No, but, but I do have okay. another question for you, though, man. Yes, yes. Before he even says anything man, about it. Come on, we want to hear oh. Is that appropriate for this office place? <laughs> you see how you're trying to yeah. answer, but, but go past that. I need a ruling. Okay, I need a ruling. You need a ruling for a powerful black man. That was interesting. Uh, yeah. Negro might. Uh, okay. The government's translation of that is black identity extremists, BIEs, mm. the delinquents of black people. That's the US, that's the FBI's classification of those of us who care about our people, you know, embrace our identity. Yeah. That's the equivalent. I don't think we need another term for the hooligans and delinquents, bro. I'm, I'm just, that's just me. Yeah. But I mean, if that's how you want to identify them for you, yeah. All right. I mean, we, we just need to help our people. That's really where I'm at with it. But somebody mailed him I, a I rotisserie agree, chicken in the mail with, with that yeah. word written on as the return address. Yes. Yeah. He's going to get some flack for that. Oh, oh, man. Yeah, big, big question. Big question. How do you feel about interracial relationships? Mm. The, the Umar, huh? Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, so. yeah. I mean, because my powerful brothers, they we own the same thing you own. So yes, I'm just like, how are they not? Is it maybe a religious thing? Like, how are they? Because his girls nation, have white, I mean, so he's mm -hmm. he's kind of mixed up. He's like, I don't know how to feel. I mean, I'm gonna just Most say the percentage is higher. She black. Smaller percentage white. Fifteen percent German. Yeah, sixty percent Liberian. Crazy. No, um, I I don't necessarily advocate for it only because. We were not able to love our woman. Okay, now a lot of people are like, man, now it's the past. Okay, well, let me let me help you to understand this, bro. Um, I love us so deeply mm -hmm. that I want to see the fullness of myself in my posterity and my child. Mm -hmm. That's all. Now, do you want to go be with somebody who's white? That's up to you. Live your life. Me, I don't. There's nothing that a white woman can offer me. I'm sorry. Like you, mm -hmm. you don't, you will not be able to identify with me. My experience, where I'm at mentally, you're, you're not there. My mama was a black woman. See, I, I love us so deep. No one can convince me. I done had some white women try to come at me, trust and believe. Sell you some incense? Yeah. <laughs> and some sage and everything. I was like, <laughs> at, okay, yeah, look, I was like, okay, some sage incense you know, and some, some well. shea butter. And you yeah. think, <laughs> come on, Kathy, stop it. You know, <laughs> stop it. Uh, stop it. Um, I respect yeah. the hustle, but stop that. Um, I, I just I just love us, bro. I mean, and it's really that simple for me. I don't have to go into the Caucasoid, Mongoloid. I, ain't, uh, <laughs> I don't have to go into that. I just, I really love us, bro. Like, I, I'm, I grew up with my siblings. I'm from Compton. I have nine siblings. I'm the youngest of 10 children. Mm -hmm. I don't watch what happened to our people. I owe it to the black woman to be with her. That's me. Now, if you want to go be with somebody else, cool, and say, well, look, it's just what I feel, blah, blah, blah. No, the majority of you have trauma because of experiences you have, negative experiences with black women, certain individuals, whether it's child support, beat, uh, abandoned, whatever it is. We have to address our mental stability first before we make a decision. You're running because you got pain and you don't want to face it. And the moment you face it, now you got to take responsibility because now you can't generalize all black women. Why? Because all black women ain't did a damn thing to you. Just like all black men ain't did everything to black women. Niggas ain't this. Hoes ain't. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. You haven't met all black men. You haven't met all black women. So we should stop generalizing each other. That makes no sense. Every other group of people, they promote being with their own, but they just don't say it. They show it. That's all. Chinese, cool with being with a Chinese man and woman. Indians with Indians. Australians, Australians nine times out of ten. But they don't talk about it because everyone wants to attack black, benefit from black, be a vulture to black, music, dancing, bodies, whatever it is. We want that. But they always are trying to push this thing. Be multicultural. No, go to hell. Sorry, not mm -hmm. sorry. How dare you promote to me with, to be with somebody else? How dare you? Why don't you say, Reese? You know what? I'm happy you love a black woman. Why don't you do that? Why don't? Why is that wrong? But you promote Becky to me. 
But how do you feel about the the common thing that we see black women saying on Twitter and shit, where they basically feel like black men get successful and then date white women or Asian women and step outside their race? It is a reality that a lot of brothers you gotta you gotta you gotta handle yourself. I'll say this again: mm -hmm. without a vision of people perish, and without the proper knowledge, people make wrong decisions. You're going and making decisions based off of where you are now, where you are now, mentally, spiritually, emotionally. Well, I grew up with it. That happens too. I grew up with stupid children. Okay, that happens. Like there are different. See, the thing is, it is a reality where a lot of brothers get successful. You get a little bit of money and then you start getting rich and you go up there. You get your contract, sign a party, NBA, et cetera. And this white girl comes up and starts finishing your sentences. She knows so much about you all of a sudden. You really <laughs> think that she wasn't sent? So let me say this, bro. Some of us are so damn naive that you think all of a sudden all these women just interested in you. Mm. I'm just saying specifically for those. Yes. It wasn't interesting before to them. Now you get money and some fame. Now they're interested. Please look at that. Then go to the other side and look at, wait a minute. You have family and friends that you grew up with. Who was there with you? Who was always down for you? Look at them. Okay. Let's, like, let's, let's look at this in layers. And if you do get successful, just say it's because that's the person you want to be with and don't generalize all black women and say it's because of y'all. No, 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 no. That's where a lot of brothers start getting that heat mm. because they get with the white girl and it's like, that's fine. But then they compare her to the black women generally. And it's like, oh, just say because that's what's best for you. But don't generalize all the black women, bro, because if you want to go historically and up to the present, the white woman was worse than the white man when it came to black men. Let's make that very clear. That's why I'm not going to. I'm just being real, Adam. We're going we gonna to talk. All right. We're going to talk. <laughs> damn it. I know you cool. We're going to talk. Listen, I, we, we have a we lot of talk. OnlyFans chicks on here. And I had a lot of chicks tell me that they got no interest in a penis unless it's got some melanin in it. Hey. Like, that's just where it is for them. Like white dick is out of style. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh man, you out of style, dog. No, I'm, I'm still cool, but like the, the average, you know. Adam's the other two, not me, the other white like, guys. Wait, 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 wait. No, but it's it's real. It, see, it's a, yeah. it's a real thing. So and vice versa, brothers. Just we just have to stop generalizing. That that's all. If you get with who you get with, say it's because that's what you wanted or who you wanted. Fine. Later on, when you start to identify yourself and you start to go back and reflect and you start to learn about yourself, go back to your traumas and address them, you will change. In whatever way that is, you will grow. As you said, there's certain things you started learning that you were you got mad, mind blown that you didn't know or you was lied to, or you're like, how you didn't tell me? This is what happens to all of us. One so, thing stuck out was Mansa Musa. I oh, let, come on. I stopped watching. I paused it. Come on, I'm brother. Like, what? You like that can't be real. That can't be real. Mansa Musa, King of Mali, richest man to ever live. The one who they fashioned King T'Challa of Black Panther after he was the richest human being to ever live. King T'Challa in the comic books worth ninety trillion dollars, more than Iron Man, more than Batman, you name it, etc. Richest person on the planet Earth. King T'Challa. I can't count Jeff Bezos and the rest of them because it's with fiat money for the for the most yeah. part. Uh, <laughs> just to be clear, with the whole white thing, if you hate me, which I know you don't, um, I, I'm I'm marrying a black woman mm -hmm. because that's what I want. We don't advocate for it because again, we were not allowed to really love that woman. They would sell her to another plantation. They would whip her. They would whip us. They would tar and feather us. They would sell our children to another plantation. Even later on into the early 1900s, if I showed love and interest to a black woman, I got beat up. A lot of different things happened. When the families were together, the women's liberation movement came in because she needed more numbers, so she recruited the black women for it. It had nothing to do with us. We were fighting for civil rights as black men, women, children, and families to be treated as human beings. You wanted to get some rights against and away from your white man. So you came and convinced the black woman to join your movement. I ain't mad at you. The problem is too many sisters joined <laughs> because it went against the primary goal, which, for, which was for us to have equal rights and for us to be treated as human beings. That was the issue. So at this point, that wasn't too long ago. I love my people far too much. I love the black woman. There is nothing better than the black woman. Uh, but yeah. women should be respected no matter what color you are. And if you choose to be with a woman of whatever color, culture, persuasion, that's your choice. Just do not try to swing over here and tell me who I should be with when it comes to being with the black woman. That's all. Shout awesome. out to all our celibate brothers like Poetic Flock yeah. out here. <laughs> nah, right. So, so like they've been on me for not dating or, or you know, or really liking what, you know white women. But <laughs> no, that's not why but, we're on you. But but uh, past that though, right? Adam slid that in there yeah. real <laughs> smooth. Nobody gives a shit about that. <laughs> All right, people, we just hit 300,000 subscribers. You know we're trying to hit 400,000 subscribers. So that little red button, tap it, tap in. Appreciate y'all.